Stephen Silvani was born to be a Carlton champion. Affectionately known as Soss, short for son of Serge, his father played 239 games for the Blues between 1958 and 1971, including two premierships. With Serge heavily involved behind the scenes, Stephen grew up around the club, becoming something of a club mascot during the star-studded premiership era of the late 70s and early 80s. He grew to become a talented junior in his own right, representing Victoria and Australia at junior level before playing half a dozen reserves games for the Blues, then making his senior debut as a skinny 17-year-old in 1985. Out to Bacchanara, kick number four. Silvani, right out by Mark. A brilliant diving mark by young Silvani, Stephen Silvani. He immediately impressed in senior ranks with his remarkable acrobatic ability and fearless desperation at ground level. But he suffered a setback when he contracted glandular fever at the beginning of season 1986, eventually working his way back into the senior lineup before suffering the bitter disappointment of being dropped for the grand final. Third on the ladder and Carlton sixth. Very Hawthorne fourth. Kick up towards half forward. Big in comes Foster with Baines. Rhys Jones battles and brilliant, absolutely dazzling stuff, Rhys Jones. Onto his left foot and kicks it to Silvani. Glasgow backed himself and ran around the defender too easy. He'll take it all away. David Glasgow, what a run. 45 metres out. Murphy unmarked again. Silvani in the square. And Stephen Silvani. He bounced back in 1987 to become a key element of a developing Carlton defence and savour the game's ultimate success as a part of the Blues' premiership win over Hawthorne. To Pritchard from 70 metres out, long towards full forward. Good spoiling by the Carlton defence. And Carlton are going to come out with this. Silvani, Berens kept going. Silvani up to the wing. Mackenzie, well down. If we can have number one, Stephen Silvani. His star continued to rise as he grew to become one of the best fullbacks in the competition, although he was also extremely dangerous when regularly thrown forward to give his side a lift. Played by the Carlton champion. He's been a tremendous player in this, his first game. Goes up to the full forward position. The five magnificent Mark Silvani. Sensational Mark Stephen Silvani. Can't mark, it's punched away well. Zanotti under pressure. Here's a chance for Dennis. Long handballs of beauty. Glasgow over the top to Murphy. Murphy into an open goal. Gives it to Silvani with unselfish football. And Silvani pops it through for Carlton's 15th goal. His absolute commitment to the contest came at a price. Silvani enduring a string of injuries, including three shoulder reconstructions, an ankle reconstruction, a serious wrist problem, two major knee injuries, plus chronic hamstring and hip ailments. But he rose above them all to win Carlton's best and fairest in 1990 and 96, as well as finishing third in the 1990 Brownlow medal and earning All-Australian selection seven times between 1988 and 97. Short one, chance for Meldrum. His kick's wide. And Silvani. There has been no better body-on-body -body defender in the history of the game. Silvani boasting an uncanny ability to affect a spoil or smother when hopelessly outnumbered or out of position. He played in a glorious era for gun key forwards, regularly clashing with the likes of Lockett, Dunstall, Ablett and Carey, and more than holding his own with them all. Well, just outside 50. We'll certainly test him. Goes deep into the square. Ablett is amongst the pack. He tries to get a good The finest month of his glittering career may well have been the 1995 final series. The Blues entering September as red-hot favourites, but under enormous pressure after failures in the previous two seasons. Silvani stood an informed Daryl White, Wayne Carey and Gary Ablett in three successive finals and held this brilliant trio to the combined total of just one goal as the 95 Blues stamped themselves as one of the most dominant teams in league history to claim the Premiership. Silvani second, equaling the record of his famous father. McKay gets his kick towards Ablett and Silvani. Ablett in front but couldn't take it. Williams could be the target. Ablett is with him. The two champs. Silvani. Son of Serge. He's been made his own name, hasn't he? Probably. Stephen Silvani. Did a fantastic job on Ablett. There was early, especially early, there was a lot of body work. And I thought he...
His greatest individual honour came in 1996 when he was named as fullback in the AFL's Team of the Century. A remarkable achievement for a man still only midway through his career. But such was the esteem in which he was held throughout the football world. Lappin's kick, Beaumont in front. No mark taken. Silvani. Oh, dear. How well disguised was that? Uh, very good. Uh, Stu Silvani, though. He may have done a hamstring. He done a string. He recovered from a terrible hamstring injury suffered during the 2000 final series to play his 300th game against Richmond midway through 2001. The Tigers showing their enormous respect for Silvani by forming a post-match guard of honour as he left the arena. I think that's, uh, that indicates the, uh, the uh, admirability that everybody has for that uh, fellow walking off the ground in his 300th game. Well, that gives me shingles to see that. That is uh, a wonderful mark of respect for a great champion of AFL football. And if anyone deserves it, Steve Silvani does. He hung up the boots on medical advice at the end of 2001 after a glittering 312 game career spread over 17 years at the highest level. Dual Premiership player, dual best and fairest, seven time All Australian, selection as fullback in both the Carlton and AFL teams of the century, Stephen Silvani not only met the heavy expectation of being the son of a champion, he exceeded it to truly become an all time great of the game. Stephen Silvani, a worthy addition to the AFL Hall of Fame. Our fifth inductee enters the...